we have secured the goods. since I just got back from the gym and went grocery shopping that I would do a little bit of a grocery haul and show you the staples of my diet, what I eat basically every single day. All right, let's get all of this out of the bags so we can go through it. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this in categories. So first, I'm gonna go over my proteins. I'm not really sure why I bought this like rolled ground turkey and then this one, but they're both the same, 93.7. So let's see, the fat is eight grams, zero carbs, 21 protein for a serving. So I'll always have this or chicken. And then I got this turkey breast lunch meat for sandwiches if I want a sandwich in the afternoon. I also got just a six pack of eggs because sometimes I like to make avocado toast with an egg on top. And I also got liquid egg whites because they are the best. If I make scrambled eggs, maybe I'll do, or like an omelet, maybe I will do just um, one regular egg and then 92 grams of liquid egg whites, or I use these to make French toast. And then Greek plain yogurt. For this one, macros are pretty good. Only seven carbs, 17 protein, and only seven grams of sugar. So that's what you want. Right now I'm on a big kick of using Greek non-fat yogurt and mixing it with my protein powder for a little snack. And I actually bought rice cakes so I can dip it in that little dip that I kind of call it. Because it's just Greek yogurt and protein powder mixed together and you can dip anything in it if you want, like pretzels, rice cakes, or just eat it plain, kind of like I've been doing, like it's ice cream. It's so good. Another thing that I bought that I am obsessed with are these Perfect Bars. They're high in fat, so I get them if I'm low on fat for the day. So they're pretty good. I like to eat that instead of maybe like nuts or peanut butter where I know I could potentially eat too much. All right, now I'm gonna go into the carbs. I get brown rice and I'll cook it in the rice cooker or on the stove and have that prepared for the week. Oatmeal, of course. I eat oatmeal literally every single day. Can't live without it organic sweet potatoes. I eat a sweet potato basically every single day as well. And then this is something new that I've actually never tried before, this protein penne. I don't really ever do pasta because I feel like it's hard to log, but here are the macros for one serving, which is two ounces uncooked. It is one gram of fat, 38 carb, and 10 grams of protein. So pretty good if you're pairing that with chicken or just eating it alone if you're a plant-based person. All right, and then some like miscellaneous things that I picked up. Not really miscellaneous, but unsweetened vanilla almond milk, per usual, all the time. This PB Fit, this stuff is the best. At Walmart, it's only like, I wanna say eight or nine dollars. It's great if you don't have that much fat left for the day, you're looking to cut out fat, but you still want like a peanut buttery taste. This is great in oatmeal, smoothies, pancakes, anything, literally anything. Get it, I swear, go get it. Starbucks iced coffee. I've been trying to like watch how much money I'm spending during the week. So instead of going out to get a coffee, I've been getting these. It's only like $4 and like 40 cents, which is basically a small coffee at Starbucks. So you're getting 48 fluid ounces for the same price as one tall coffee. Just a no-brainer, you know? Avocados for my fats. Frozen blueberries for oatmeal or on top of pancakes and waffles. Bananas to make baked oatmeal. See the recipe in my videos below. Just sparkling water, but it's sweet. It's not like LaCroix or LaCroix where it tastes like the aftertaste of whatever flavor they're saying it is. These are delicious and only like 50 cents 
at Walmart. I ran out of fish oil, so I got more fish oil. Gotta take these for your joints. Cause I notice if I stop taking it, my elbows start cracking all the time. Same with my knees and my ankles. Salsa. Sometimes I'll use this to cook my ground turkey. Adds a little flavor for very little carbs. And then just regular marinara. I tried to find one that didn't have very many sugars. And so this one was only five gram of, grams of sugar, which is pretty good. And it says that you get a full serving of vegetables. So yay, gonna have that with the pasta that I got. Can we talk about this guy who's laying on the floor behind me as I'm recording this video? What, what a difficult life. I forgot that I also got this giant bag of frozen broccoli. That is the best in the air fryer. Can't forget my English muffin obsession. I got these, they're so good. I have them with my second breakfast with my egg whites, broccoli slaw, and some reduced sugar jam on them. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, one thing I didn't show you is the frozen chicken breasts that are already in the freezer. So my protein sources are typically chicken or ground turkey. Sometimes I'll get fish like salmon or tilapia, but I forgot to pick that up today. So I'll have that. I'll have egg whites or eggs, um, maybe a protein bar. I have my protein powder that I put in my oatmeal or in my Greek yogurt. And then carbs are typically always sweet potato and rice. And then any kind of snacks like fruit, um, pretzels are now rice cakes in this case. That's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's quick, simple, to the point kind of like my diet. So I'm sorry if this is boring, but that is my diet and it works and I like it.